Has it been a year already? I can't believe that a year ago we were in a hospital about this exact same time, contractions were getting stronger in just a few short hours, we would meet Noah. I just, I have a hard time believing that it's already been a year. And it's been a great year. And to know that I don't have to refer to him as the blank month old anymore, he's a year old, that's hard to believe. Um, you know, growing up, I had a lot of self-esteem issues and, you know, bouts with depression and stuff. And I, I didn't I didn't even think I would get married. More or less, I didn't think I would I would get married and have a kid. And to have a kid who's a year old and he's starting to be his own person and having his own thoughts and stuff like that is just, uh, you know, and, and acting on his own. Like, it's just, it's really surreal to me. You see, Noah's kind of like our little baby that could. We really wanted a boy. We want a girl too, like at some point, but like we really, really wanted a boy. And it was just a foregone conclusion. Like when we found out Tracy was pregnant, it was like, well, we should start, go ahead and start buying girl stuff, get the rooms ready. You see, on my side of the family, not not my dad's, because um, my dad does have a lot of brothers and stuff, but like on my mom's side, um, my grandfather, between him and my uncle, which were the the boys born, there was uh, 20 some years. And then between my uncle and me, which was boy to next boy, was over 20 years. And then from me to my cousin Matthew, who was the next boy, there were over 20 years. So in the last 80 years of my family direct lineage, there's been four boys. And so it was just like, it's not gonna happen. There's no way we're gonna have a boy. And then we went and got the thing and he even said, you're having a boy. But even then it was still like, that's gonna be an accident. Like there's no way that we're gonna have a boy. And lo and behold, we have a little boy. And same thing on Tracy's side of the family, there's a lot of girls. Like she got, she has boy cousins. Like my buddy Madison that I hang out with sometimes is her cousin who I knew before, but that's a whole different story. Um, and then she has a couple of, but there's a lot of females in the family. So it was just a foregone conclusion that, you know, you're gonna have a girl. We've had a really easy transition into parenting. Noah has always been good. He's always slept through the night. Like um, when he was first born and you know, we had to give him formula every four hours. He was sleeping like after the first week or two, maybe month, he was sleeping. And we asked the doctor like, is it okay to let him sleep through the night? Cause he's not waking up. Like he wants to sleep. And that doctor was like, absolutely. You let him sleep through the night. And you know, if it gets to where it's gone more than eight or so hours without a bottle, maybe consider waking him up. But he's sleeping, absolutely, man. Let him go. And uh, so we never had an issue with that. He never woke up screaming in the middle of the night or anything. And even now, like, we started sleep training him. And in the uh, the first night, he woke up after, you know, a couple of hours because he's getting used to it. Second night was a little bit longer. Third night, all the way through. And we've never had issues uh, with him sleeping or anything like that. He's always done so perfectly fine. He never gets upset. He never screams. I mean, he screams, but like a happy scream. You know how babies get and they're just like, ah, yay, you know, that type of thing. But he never like screams and cries and throws tantrums or anything for no reason. Like, um, he's generally super, super good. He's a very, very happy baby. He's always smiling. I post, um, I, and I have for like the past two weeks, every morning I'll take a picture with him and I'll post it on my Instagram. And he's always just ear to ear smiling. And it's not like me having to work with him to get it. He just naturally smiles. He's always so happy and that's made our lives easy. So we've not had to deal with, you know, a lot of stuff that typical parents have to deal with. Um, not that we wouldn't have, but you know, it's just, it's made the transition very, very easy because I mean, he is just, I, and I know every parent says it, but I mean, we've had no problems. It's been the easiest thing. Like it's been so easy for us because of how good he is. I don't know if I would ask us for parenting advice because we've not had to go through a lot of that stuff. So we are very, very fortunate and blessed um, with his behavior and just overall general attitude uh, that he portrays. It's It's been very awesome. I've really loved this year. It's been maybe the best year of my life, um, just having him around and uh, just seeing him grow. You know, he's taken some steps now. He's not fully walking, but he always pops himself up like he wants to walk and he constantly will walk around or, you know, take steps here or there. Um, and it's just been, this, this has been, uh, this has been the best year of my life. Go get the puppy. Man, I tell you, it's dark in here at the van outside. In that, oh, yeah. In that oh. The fan. Hey, come here. Hey. Crazy. Hey. 
Hey, oh, you will turn around. Look, Charlie, get him. Look at his tail. Just pet him like that. Careful. Is that fun? There goes your fingers. You go smash them. And the first time you smash them, that'll be the <laughs> that'll be the last you'll smash. You you be careful. You be careful. We are home. What an exhausting day, man. Today, um, we went everywhere. I, I took off work early. I was fortunate enough to be able to leave work around noonish. Got Noah. I went to my grandmother. Yeah, Tracy was not. Went to my grandmother's. Went to my mom's work so he could see my mom there. And um, my mom works with my cousin Christina so he could see her. Then I went to, we went to Tracy's aunt's house and then my dad's and then her grandma's. And back home. It's, and he saw my mom this morning. And he saw Tracy's mom this morning. It's been an exhausting day. A very, very good, very awesome day. But very, very exhausting. Kind of like Halloween and like basically every other holiday we've celebrated with him when we do this. Like it's just, it's great, but it's very exhausting. Mm -hmm. But again, fantastic day. Um, but I told you guys I wasn't going to film a lot today. And all I did was just talk about some stuff. I had just a couple of clips of Noah. I wanted today to just spend time and enjoy Noah spend time and enjoy being around family and stuff with him um and hopefully you guys enjoyed it so trey do you have any things for noah to say so you're gonna have to speak up because your brother away i'd like for him to not continue aging yeah i would like for him ultimately to stay i didn't, I didn't even want him to be a year but if he'd just stay where he's at i'd be all right because it's happening way too fast man the last year Boom. I mean, you blink and it's done. And I know it only gets worse from there. It upset me a day or two ago when you were like, oh, I'm four years heavy in school. Yeah, yeah, I did say that. I care for that. Tracy was unimpressed. But it's true. I mean, in four years, technically in three, he could be in preschool. Mm, I don't care for that. So, you know, it is not the, I, I kind of hate that phrase, but it's true. It is what it is. It's, I don't care for that. Is that your closing statements for Noah? But guys, I am going to end the vlog here. I'm worn out, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, we're going to watch, I think, an episode of Golden Girls. Can you go to bed? Uh, and then I still got to work out. I haven't worked out. I'll go to bed. Tracy will go to bed. I'm, I still got to work out. I'm just kind of resting a little bit, and I don't want to get out of the habit of doing that. So I'm going to do that. Uh, like I said, watch Golden Girls, blah, blah, blah. Stop repeating myself. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, just talking and hearing about some of the stuff about Noah and all that stuff. And um, yeah. We will see you guys tomorrow.